Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has confirmed another known issue that um, was caused by recent updates that rolled out for Windows 10. So if we just head over to our update history, the update that started causing this latest known issue for Windows 10 was KB5028244, which was our optional update that rolled out near the end of last month, July, or any later update. So that would also include this update, the Patch Tuesday update, KB5029244, which rolled out earlier this month. Now, Microsoft says regarding this latest known issue that after installing these recent updates, apps which were deployed using ClickOnce might begin to prompt for installation even when the ClickOnce apps are already installed and marked as trusted. So basically what that means is that those ClickOnce apps were showing as not installed when they actually were. So that's the actual problem. Now, in case you're unaware what a ClickOnce app is, according to Microsoft, a ClickOnce application is any Windows presentation foundation, Windows forms, console application or office solution published using ClickOnce technology. So that's a brief overview of what a ClickOnce app is all about. Now, this issue is, has actually been resolved, which is the good news if you were affected. And before Microsoft actually resolved the issue, they issued a temporary workaround, which was obviously to uninstall the affected ClickOnce application and then reinstall the app again. Now, this was actually resolved in my region yesterday on the 14th of August. And it's been resolved once again using a known issue rollback, also known as a KRR. Now, if you don't know what a known issue rollback is, it's nothing you have to do from your side. You don't have to install another update. It's something Microsoft does from their side. But a brief description of a known issue rollback is this. It's, it's an important Windows servicing improvement to support non-security bug fixes like KB5028244, enabling Microsoft to quickly revert a single targeted fix to a previously released behavior if a critical regression is discovered. So basically, if a known issue is discovered. So it's something Microsoft does from their side. And as always with these known issue rollbacks, as I always do suggest, um, try to restart your device because it does take about 24 hours for the resolution, as Microsoft says, to propagate or get resolved. But if you do restart uh, your operating system, and um, that will actually apply the known issue rollback a lot faster, as many of you will know by now. So if you are affected, just restart your device, and that should resolve the issue. And the affected platforms are Windows 10 version 22H2 and Windows 10 version 21H2. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.